Hello again. Uh, today I'm using Vanilla Loadout on King of the Hill Badlands. Uh, I say Vanilla Loadout, but it is not quite Vanilla Loadout. I'm using Enthusiast Timepiece, which functions the same way as Invisibility Watch and a uh, Strange Knife, which doesn't affect gameplay at all. So it is just a style. There's nothing different. Um, up here you'll see I freeze for a second. That's the only actual lag I had in game. Any other stutters or any of that crap is from the demo because it does kind of weird things with lag compensation. Um, I'll, I'll see people and all of a sudden, like, I'll see people in the demo that I did not see in game, so it looks like I'm being stupid when really I just didn't see them. Now, um, I am using vanilla loadout, uh, which means invisibility watch instead of dead ringer and um, revolver instead of ambassador. Uh, dead ringer. I feel is a very, very good tool, but it, I don't really want to call it a crutch, really, but um, I find that I'm not going for a lot of opportunities, cause with as I do with the invisibility watch, because my survival kind of depends on it, that I um, execute them perfectly, so uh, I have gotten better at things like stair stabs and corner stabs and matador stabs or whatever the hell they're called so yeah I everybody says it and I'll recommend it as well uh, get good with the vanilla loadout before you go with the dead ringer uh, dead ringer it, it's, it is a very good weapon and you should use it at some point but learn the uh, invisibility watch first and uh, I'm I'm kinda going for this heavy right here not my best idea. Uh, I don't actually get him, but I am going to segue into a bit with the revolver, because I do kill him with the revolver later on. Um, and just guns in general, I mean, do not be afraid to use them. If, see, I, I get that kill. If I tried to knife him, I don't think I would have gotten that kill, because he was about to eat a sandwich and full health heal, and I would have been screwed. So, you know, do not be afraid to use your gun. It is a very good tool. A lot of people don't use it for some reason, but yeah, use it. Um, that is the only time I die in this entire video. Uh, I do get 19 kills, I believe, so I do do pretty well. And um, yeah, um, up here, I believe it's at this point. Yeah, there's an engineer. He hops down, so I sap his stuff. And then I kind of look back and fire at their team because I have a bit of protection. There's no engineer there, and uh, fall off damage is going to protect me pretty well. Uh, I do cloak inside the building, so the sniper that was focusing on me does not see me go out. Um, he most likely has no idea where I'm at right now, so that is very good. Now um, you probably saw that scout back there. I did not see him, so I'm I'm surprised that he just popped out of nowhere. I do get that health back and he does run away, so not a big deal. Now for this teleporter, I'm kind of debating whether or not to um, camp it or to sap it. I do end up sapping it, and then shooting it, so it dies quicker. Yeah. Um, for this map in particular, that's a really good jump. It gets you up there quickly. There's health and ammo right there. Uh, right here, I am using the revolver quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> my aim with it is really quite terrible, but, um, <laughs> you know, I'll talk about that later, um, yeah, uh, there is a kill right here, I do not know why I did this kill, I jumped backwards blindly to get the stab, there is no reason for me to have done that, it was complete style stab, there is no reason for me to do that, but I do do it, and, yeah, um, I'm trying to stair stab, that spy, it turns out, I actually didn't know what class it was. I thought I was taking a shotgun to the back, so I was kind of expecting, like, a scout to come out. But, uh, yeah. Um, I am checking behind me a lot. I see that pyro, so I'm kind of freaked out a bit, but, um, I actually don't run into him again, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see my aim is terrible here again. Um, Ambassador, I actually hit more with, even on body shots, just because it's a tide for spread. And, uh, I shoot slower. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I do hit more often with that. And, 
Yeah, I think I'll take this opportunity to uh, talk about scripts. Uh, I am using a crouch jump script and a modified disguise script, so you will not see me bring out my disguise kit at any point. It's because I have stuff bound to alt and control for friendly and enemy. Um, I am using stabby scripts, uh, in particular his ambassador view model script. So you'll see my gun disappear when I shoot. Um, it's not very useful without the ambassador, but with it, it's very useful. Um, I'm also trying a um, ambassador cooldown sound script that was on the forums yesterday, so thanks to him for that. I do try a reverse stair stab here on that spy, which is probably the worst idea in the world, because he could have just backstabbed me, but uh, I didn't really care, because we're about to win, and I was feeling pretty good, so, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, that's that's it for this round. Um, thanks for watching, and um, I'll be making more videos soon, hopefully. So yeah, continue watching. <laughs> see you later. I'll see you in hell, you handsome rogue.